In this video, we will discuss the proper setup of the KVA soil vapor system. Before setup, please make note of the following tips. To prevent damage, please make sure that rods and connectors are tight and secure. To avoid cross-contamination and rust, please remove all debris and moisture prior to returning each piece to the case. To begin, make sure that one layer of Teflon tape is applied to any connectors you plan to use prior to use. You may need to apply Teflon tape repeatedly throughout your project. Next, fasten a hollow connector into the first rod until half of the connector is fastened. Fasten the drive point to the hollow connector. Remember to check that it is tight and secure. This will ensure minimal damage to the system during use. Another hollow connector with Teflon tape applied to it is used to fasten the hammer drill chuck connector to the opposite end of the rod in the same manner. The chuck connector is then inserted and secured to the hammer drill. The system is now ready to create the first pilot hole. After the pilot hole is created, the drive point and hollow connector are removed from the rod. Next, polyethylene or Teflon tubing is inserted into the slot on the side of the chuck connector. This tubing is then pushed through the hollow connector and the entire rod. On the opposite end of the rod, the shield adapter is fastened to the rod using another hollow connector. Next, an anchor is inserted onto a disposable aluminum drive point. The drive point is then connected and fastened to the tubing. Remember to check that this connection is tight and secure before moving on. Finally, the drive point is pulled tight and secure to the shield adapter. The system is now ready to be attached to the hammer drill. This completes the proper setup of the KVA soil vapor system. Remember, if you have any questions regarding this or any other project, a knowledgeable and experienced U.S. environmental associate is ready to assist you. Thank you.